Okay, my god team, welcome back to your channel guys. Thanks for tuning into today's video. Wow, Bitcoin has crashed a lot in the last 24 hours, but once again, nothing we didn't see coming. We saw all of this coming in yesterday's video. We talked about the risk return at the top of the channel. We told you guys shorts are more favorable. We told you guys not to take late longs, and we told you that if we do see a breakdown, we could potentially very well see a break all the way back down to this major, major support zone sitting at 18,800, exactly as predicted, exactly what we saw coming. Before you get into today's video, because today's video is going to contain a lot of information, we have two announcements to make. Actually, three announcements to make. Number one is we're going to be starting two videos a day pretty soon. On the 1st of October onwards, we're going to be doing altcoin videos every single day as well, uh, if not every second day, and obviously have our regular Bitcoin videos going as per usual. Update number two is we do have a promotion for Bitcoin at the moment. Uh, from the 3rd of October to the 10th of October, we're going to be doing 10% kickbacks on your fees. So every 10% of the total fees that you paid over that one week, you'll get returned to your account uh, every 24 hours. So you're basically a 10% return. And that if your trading volume is over 15 million, you'll get 500 US dollars bonus on top of that. So if you're not signed up to BitGet, you can go ahead and click the link down below to get access to that. Obviously, you can read up all the benefits at the end of the video, and we talk about it a bit more. And thirdly, we do have a VIP sale coming up. If you're interested in joining our VIP uh, channel, you'll get access to obviously the main VIP chat where we post all of our trades, analysis, much more. Our scalp trading chat where we talk about all the scalp trades. Uh, we have all our members in here talking as well. Um, and of course, you get access to all of our results and signals, whether it be sh short, spot, long, all that kind of cool stuff. That is what's in the VIP channel. You can find more information about the VIP channel. If you click this message here, you can find more information and find a track record. You can see every single month we have massive profits. 26 wins, seven losses this month. If we go back in time, you take a look every single month, huge, huge profits. Uh, you can go ahead and get information on this. If you click the first link down below, you get access to our free channel where we do a whole bunch of updates, analysis, charts, videos, a whole range of cool stuff you're not interested in VIP. But if you are, you'll get updates on how to access that sale through this channel. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So Bitcoin has massively broken down. And I think we just showed you that chart. I'm going to go ahead and bring it back up in a second. We talked about this crash and we talked about it in yesterday's video. And we said that we are at a stage now at the top of a rising channel. This symmetrical triangle broke upwards, it developed and formed into a rising channel. And we told you guys, rising channels are bearish patterns. The risk return on your longs are no longer favorable. Do not enter late longs. Look for shorts or exit your longs. The short return is much greater. We expected a retracement, we expected a pullback, we explicitly said we do expect and would like to see a pullback, and we saw that. Now our targets for our pullback, as described, were exactly the same as our targets for our longs. We expected a pullback to these levels. And we saw that, we saw every single level here. We broke through our major trigger, we broke through our minor, minor trigger, and we reached that major support level, exactly as predicted. The question is, what happens next? And this is very important because this entire move has practically been engulfed. This entire move out of that symmetrical triangle has practically been engulfed. And we are now in a bearish uh, market structure on the short time frame, which is obviously not a good sign. So let's talk about it. We need to break it down. We've got a few things to discuss. Number one, where will the price go from here in the short term within this channel? Where will the price go on the, on the medium term? If we lose this channel, we break down from the channel, we'll break upwards, and then we'll talk about the macro chart. So on the short term, what we are looking at here is between where we are right now and this level. So this, this area, this box above 18,700 is going to be our bounce zone. This is what we identify as our bounce zone. We expect the price or we anticipate that within this zone, if we are going to bounce, we do expect it to happen somewhere within this level. As you can see, we've actually already entered that level. So it could have already happened. We could continue upwards from here, okay? Now, if we do bounce from this level, the exactly the same targets are in play. We have the same horizontal levels. Remember, unlike diagonal levels, horizontal levels remain valid. They do not change. They do not change. We either crush them by breaking below or we push past them and invalidate them from the side of which we're on. But they do remain active constantly within the range, particularly in this short horizontal range we have. 
And if you go ahead and remove basically everything off this chart, I highly recommend everyone who's watching this video, regardless of where you are, what you're doing, it doesn't matter, you should be copying this chart down at a bare minimum, copying down these green and red lines, because these are the major horizontal levels and trigger points you're looking for price movements, okay? So if we do go down, we lose a black line, that's confirmation, validate, that's validation of breakdown point number one. We, that's not enough for us, so we need more than that. We need more. Breakdown, retest, engulf of this level. That would be your short entry. Where are your targets? Well, first and foremost, major target is over here. If we lose that major trigger, we are heading back down to that previous low, that absolute bottom on Bitcoin. 17,600 you can see over here. That is what's going to happen if we do lose this level. Okay, so short term trigger for a move down to the red line, major trigger short for a move down to the bottom. Okay, now none of this is in play until we have that breakdown of that trend line in combination of a retest and engulfing this level here, pushing back through it, claiming weakness, telling us that the trend is now in fact pushing downward aggressively, we can expect the price to continue. Until then guys, we do expect support is support until it's not. Let's talk about support. So can we go up from here? Absolutely we can. What we are looking for over here, we're looking for a few things. A bounce, which we've seen, okay? We're looking for a push above and close above this major, or should I say shorter time frame developed horizontal, which is about 19,164. Okay, pushing over that level, we can see it acted as some resistance over here on that symmetrical triangle, as well as this period between about 25th of September, 11 p.m., all the way up into about 7 or 8 a.m. in the morning, um, about an eight-hour range. We're looking for a push over that, and that will be the trigger for the short-term move up to this level. And again, each of these points now acting as major rejection points. If you break through them, they continue upwards, or you reject. So we're analyzing as we go, we're changing our stop losses up as we go, we're making new decisions as we go. On the flip side, if we come down, we can retest this level again. This upward trending support line is still a support line. It should be treated as support until it's not. Alternatively, if we lose a support line, we'll still have this little range, all right, this range between 18,700 to 18,800, which has acted as major support prior. And this is a support zone we are looking for. So until support is lost, support is still there, and therefore the risk return shifts, even though it looks bearish, even though the trend looks down, even though the technical indicators are now pointing down. It doesn't mean the price will continue down. It's very, very important to understand that. Just as over here, Trend was looking bullish. Technical indicators looking phenomenal. Price action looking great. We didn't continue up because technical indicators, although are amazing at predicting strength of the trend, they are absolutely shocking at predicting points of reversal. Very important to understand that, guys. If you're using technical indicators to predict reversal points, you're going to be wrong or you're going to be late. You're never going to be correct. Okay? Very rarely will you be correct. So, that is what we're looking for. On the top side, this is what we're looking for a downside. Now, obviously, we have to have some sort of bias here. We can't not have an opinion. Our opinion, besides on what our strategy is, that is the fact that we do believe this is a rising channel. It would be stupid to assume this won't break down at some point. Unless a new pattern is developed from the breakdown or the push up, which could happen because patterns do develop out of patterns. Um, right now, from the data we have available, we do expect some sort of breakdown at some point. So if we take a measured move target, where does it take us? Well, it takes us to about 17,600, a little bit lower, 17,600, okay? And we know measured moves take us to the next major support or resistance, so the measured move will take us downwards to here initially. That will be where we either create a new pattern or we break and head lower. Keep it simple, guys, keep it simple. So let's take a look at this chart here. And what are we seeing here? Well, this is, of course, the daily on Bitcoin. And we do have a few other things I want to talk about. I just want to see if I can skim through some of these charts real quickly. Okay, this is what I want to talk about first. The weekly chart on Bitcoin, this is the weekly RSI. As you can see, the weekly RSI bounced from that 32.60 range, didn't quite crash to below it, which is a very bullish thing, which is a great thing to see. And it is now coming up to attempt to retest the downward trending resistance. What do we know from this? Well, now we know momentum is at a point of key resistance. If we zoom in, guys, 
and I also want to actually just slightly adjust that one down. We have a very small range. 24th of October, one month. We have one month to break through this or we lose a 32.60. And we talked about the 32.60. For those of you who don't know, who may be paying attention to the channel or just recent to the channel, you would know the 32.60 on the weekly is a huge trigger for Bitcoin. Every time we lose a 32.6 on the weekly, we actually see a big drop down. And I highly recommend watching yesterday's video where we talked about how the RSI actually moves from points of closes, and then you have another close, and that how the price of the RSI is actually perceived to move between these points, these data points. Because like we said yesterday, we can have data point open, we can have RSI pointing upwards, okay? looking bullish looking bullish and guess what it will close down here so this whole area is eliminated this bullish sentiment is destroyed and people are wrecked so rsi moves in a particular way it kind of it kind of how can i say it pivots from point to pin uh, to point and that point is not locked in that pivot is not locked in until it closes so we're really looking for closes on the rsi before we make any rational decision on what the momentum is doing what we can identify, however, is that the RSI is coming close to an apex. It's coming close to major decision. Either it's going to see some sort of retest and rejection from this level, a breakout, or it's going to crash below. Two of those scenarios are bearish. One of those scenarios are bullish. Probability says we are more bearish and bullish with the RSI right now. But market structure theory does suggest as we approach, as we approach the end of apexes, all right, and this is the apex, this zone, we are more likely to see breakouts than we are to see breakdowns, okay? In combination, we have at least two retests on one side, three retests on the other side, okay? This confirms the fact that the RSI pattern, this falling wedge pattern, is nearing the end. It is nearing exhaustion. It should not do too many more retests. Very, very unlikely we come down and retest this level again. Incredibly unlikely we come down and retest that level again. So very interesting, guys. Keep an eye on that. The next thing, of course, is total cryptocurrency market cap. We came up, we rejected from the red line, we pushed back down, not looking too good. Of course, like we said already, this black line represents the major trigger on Bitcoin. If we lose that black line, we come down, retest the low, that will happen. As we already said, descending triangle formation, it is more bearish than bullish for the total cryptocurrency market cap. Unless we get a significant push on Bitcoin past like 21,000, it is looking more bearish and bullish. Now, None of this means the bottom isn't in. What it does, however, mean is we can retest that lower gain according to the charts. Now, it doesn't mean we will. It just means we can. Okay, and it's good to have a plan so we can capitalize on the profits on the way down, as we now do. It's great to have a plan so we can capitalize on the profits on the way up, as we now do. So no matter what happens, guys, we're on top of it. We're going to have a plan. We've got a plan, should I say. It's all about execution now. Profits can be made in every single direction. Let's take a look at one more chart. This is our major, major bear market chart. I like to call this a bear market chart because we don't really have anything um, on this chart besides a bunch of lines, a bunch of diagonal lines, of course. And um, let me just adjust this one real quickly. And of course, our macro descending channel. So we have two patterns. We have our macro descending channel. This is our bear market. This is the crux of the bear market. This is the level that needs to be broken for us to enter a neutral phase or enter a new uptrend. We need to get above this trend line, okay? Next number two is bear market major diagonal resistance. This is major diagonal resistance at a bear market, a point of which we've rejected on multiple times, obviously forming that upper high over here, obviously rejecting and obviously rejecting. This is a major point of rejection on the chart. Again, the issue with this is we're pushing close to these diagonals. When we reject close to diagonals, we either see breakouts aggressively or we see aggressive drops. We don't have time to just move slowly sideways along this trend line. What is going to happen? And like I've been saying for the last few weeks, we've got about a three week period to either break upwards or go down to 12 to 13,000. We've said this already. About a three week period. It's going to happen soon. Either we see a significant drop down from here. Right, it's going to be a quick drop down. We're going to break the 32.60 on the RSI, we crash, okay? We lose that 19,000 support, we crash. We lose the 17,600 bottom, we crash. We reject from the RSI downtrend, we crash. There's so many triggers for a crash, okay? Or we break this downward trending resistance, we break the RSI resistance, we bounce from the 32.60, and we push upwards for October. It is really, 
how do I say, it's really at decision point. This is decision point for Bitcoin. There's no other way. It's either going to get a big, nice, explosive move or it's going to get a very bloody downward drop. There's no sideways price action anymore, guys. We don't have time for that. If it goes sideways from here and just push it sideways, that would be a that would be phenomenal. That would be that would that would be confusing. I'm straight up saying that would be a very odd scenario. It is probable. Everything is possible, but it would be very confusing and incredibly unlikely. Incredibly unlikely. But time will tell. I guess. Be prepared. Be prepared. That is all I want to talk about today, guys. Um, don't be overly bullish. Don't be overly bearish. Macro. You should be bullish until it is proven bearish. And I've been saying that for a very long time. Until a new low is in, until we lose this level, we still have significant amount of data suggesting to be bullish. A lot of indicators are suggesting the bottom's in. A lot is suggesting we potentially go up. Unfortunately, the longer we remain below this 90 trend line, the longer we start getting rejected and going sideways, the worse it is going to look and the worse it is looking as we approach the decision time. As we approach decision time and we're still looking quite bearish, it is going to get more and more scary. Of course, Bitcoin getting closer and closer to the absolute bottom. But until then, until the bottom is lost, the bottom is still in. Therefore, the risk return, and this is the whole thing, guys. The risk return, the, the same principles we applied to selling here, buying down here, now telling you to not be overly bearish is exactly the same where principles we're applying on a large time frame. If we have, and we know we have, not only a major support zone, this gray box, but also a bottom on Bitcoin that has been identified by a nine year structure, not only a nine year structure, but multiple indicators that have never ever been wrong on predicting the bottom, okay? We have to assume the risk on this trade is small compared to what could be phenomenally huge gains. We don't know where it could go from here. I'm not going to try to predict what's going to happen next cycle. I think it's ridiculous. But for all we know, Bitcoin could go back up and it could go back up strong. So a risk return, a return on your investment, even if it goes back up, even if it goes back up to 25 grand or 23,000, your return on investment is still favorable. And that is what people need to understand about trading. It is not about having the best, the most accurate prediction, although we've been very, very close. It's about the decisions you make and making sure your decisions are the most favorable decisions at every point in time. You're not going to always be correct. You're not every trade you take is going to be correct. But if you can take favorable trades, all it takes is one winning trade to make back your losses on three losses. Okay, so it is not always about being correct. It is about making the best choice you can with the information available based on your risk tolerance, based on your capital, based on your time horizon, and obviously your experience. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I look forward to doing more videos with you guys in the future. Obviously, we have more altcoin videos coming up and of course our Bitcoin videos. And I highly, highly, highly stress the significance of watching these videos. I don't do these videos for me, guys. I do them for you. I do them to keep you guys up to date. In a world full of you know, fake analysis and scammers on Twitter and YouTube, it's important that we have a place where we can come and you can watch information and you can watch analysis that is honest, that is trusted, and that has no ulterior motives. I'm not here trying to tell you guys what to do. I'm not here trying to convince or sway your opinions. I am laying down the facts. I am laying down the objective realities of chart. And I'm telling you, these are the triggers. If this happens, we expect the price to go here. If we're looking at this, this will happen. And it's very important you analyze that yourself, understand yourself so you know how to react when those occur. That being said, guys, I think I'll leave it there. Of course, VIP sale, uh, big get. We have the promo, and of course, um, we're going to start videos up again pretty soon for our altcoins, but continuing that one Bitcoin, Bitcoin video a day. That being said, I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Have a good one. Okay, guys, we're going to be taking a quick look at BitGet, and now BitGet is where I personally trade. I highly recommend signing up to BitGet with the link down below. BitGet is probably the best exchange out there if you are a trader. It has a variety of features, and the best things about BitGet are a few things. Number one, it's non-KYC. Well, KYC is completely optional in BitGet. Now, there's a whole variety of exchanges out there nowadays that have gone completely centralized, sharing your personal trading information and information of decentralized uh, governments and different governing bodies. BitGet allows that option to be left to the individual, to the user of the exchange. You can decide to non-KYC. You can decide to KYC. It's completely your choice. Another really beneficial thing about BitGet and the biggest reasons why I, I'm sitting here actually recommending BitGet to all my, all my followers is that it has 0.02% trading fees, 
All right, this is significantly lower than any other cryptocurrency trading exchange out there. FTX, Binance, could name a bunch more, KuCoin. It is significantly lower, by 500% lower than the lowest exchange out there, Binance. Um, another big thing, guys, is there's no global restrictions on who can use BitGet. Anyone from anywhere can sign up to BitGet and get access to the entire exchange of all the tools, whether it be futures or spot. No matter which country you're in, you can use futures and spot. If you're in America, for say, and you want to get access to more spot trading pairs, such as Binance Global, and you can't sign up, well, guess what? They've got 250 different spot trading pairs here on BitGet to get access to, and you can get access to all of these. If you're in Australia and you want to access the futures market and you can't trade futures, you can do it here on BitGet. You can get access to the future market and start trading with leverage. And finally, guys, if you do want to sign up to BitGet, go ahead, click that link down below to sign up to BitGet and you'll get access to the reward center over here, which enables up to $4,000 in rewards by completing five tasks. All right, guys, we'll get back to the video. Thanks for listening to that. Okay, guys, I want to take a quick moment to introduce the Become a Trader course at the end of this video. This course was designed by myself and Wolves of Crypto. We put together a whole variety of knowledge to create the most cohesive, understandable, and beneficial trading course there is on the market. If you're interested in learning how to become a trader, if you're interested in learning how to use technical analysis, if you're interested in learning how to apply market analysis to different cryptocurrencies, this is a course for you. We teach you everything from the fundamentals, the basics about what cryptocurrency is, how to trade cryptocurrency, mastering the craft of cryptocurrency, diving into a whole range of technical indicators, market structures, and teaching you how to utilize these when finding trades and applying risk management strategies to become more profitable over time. We even dive into market psychology, human psychology, and provide a variety of different videos and educational content, including courses and quizzes to assist your learning along the way. If this is something you're interested in, guys, go ahead and contact us down below at the Crypto Academy courses at gmail.com. We'll send you an email back with all the course information, the structure, the payment details, and everything else you need to know. That being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today, and we'll catch you in the next one.